What's up you guys, it's Thomas here and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, here we discuss everything Apple and of course everything jailbreaking. So, today we're going to be discussing something a lot of jailbreakers have on their mind. With iOS 14 releasing in, well, less than a week, many of us are thinking, well, can I jailbreak my iOS 14 device? Should I update? We'll cover that today. Alright, so the big question, can we jailbreak iOS 14? Well, yes and no. It depends which device you're using. If you're on an iPhone 10 or below, you're in luck because the Checkmate exploit released by developer Axiom X happens to hack a part of the iOS boot process, which is unpatchable, the boot ROM. So just some quick background on how your phone boots up. When your phone boots up, it goes through several processes called the secure boot chain, which is basically designed to ensure that your phone loads genuine Apple software. And the first step in the secure boot chain, well, one of them is the boot ROM. And after that, it loads up the LLB, the iBoot, kernel, and iOS. And if you hack one of those low level processes, then essentially you can control what happens on any of the higher processes. So Checkmate hacks the boot ROM, which is in the first process of the secure boot chain. So because of that, it can control anything that happens in the LLB, iBoot, kernel, and iOS, which is really good for us jailbreakers because that means that we can customize how the firmware on our iPhone loads up. And that's actually how when you jailbreak using the CheckRain jailbreak, which uses a Checkmate exploit, you have a custom boot logo. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so as I was saying, the lower level processes, a lot of them cannot be patched by Apple because the code in there is in the read-only part of your iPhone memory. So for Apple to patch it, they basically would need to physically service your phone, which of course is not gonna happen because there's millions of devices out there which can be exploited with the Checkmate exploit. So essentially when iOS 14 drops, we just gotta wait for the developers of CheckRain to update it for iOS 14, and that should happen pretty quickly, hopefully, and we'll see a jailbreak for iOS 14. So if your device is an iPhone 10 or below, 100% recommend you update. Now it's a different story, unfortunately, if you're on an iPhone 10s or above. Those devices do not have the Checkmate exploit, and thus hackers will need to find a new exploit or more commonly nowadays, multiple exploits in order to jailbreak those devices. And that may take some time because, well, I'm sure Apple's pretty embarrassed after the release of the Checkmate exploit. And so it might take a little while for hackers to find the exploits necessary to jailbreak iOS 14 on those newer devices. But as with all past iOSs, I'm sure it's gonna happen at some point. So for now, if you're on iOS 13.5, just stick with Uncover and wait for a jailbreak to come out. Or of course, you know, you can upgrade if you wanna ditch your jailbreak. And I'm sure a jailbreak for your device will drop at some point in the future. It just may take a while. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all you need to know about iOS 14 and jailbreaking or as it actually may be called according to a pretty prominent leaker, iPhone OS 14. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, smash the like button. And also feel free to comment if you have any feedback, questions, or concerns. I do reply to pretty much all your comments. Hope to see you in the next video and have a great day.